Horror games are a different vibe. There's something deeply unnerving about playing a scary game all alone at night with the lights out and headphones on, or hiding behind a pillow while your friend plays through it. Whatever your jam is, the next few months have some serious scare fests coming to PlayStation. Here's a quick list. Zoocosis is an actual term used to describe the mental illness that captive animals develop. Taking that term up a crazy notch is Zoocosis, an upcoming mind-bending survival horror game. In it, you're a zookeeper fitted with a body cam who finds out that the animals at your zoo are sick from an infection. This infection is causing them to mutate into some horrifying stuff, man. I'm talking freaking giraffe with eight legs and a detachable head kinda monstrosity. Your job is to survive this horrific infection station. Find out what caused it, come up with an antidote, and save as many animals as you can. Your choices in this game will also lead to multiple endings. Until Dawn on the PlayStation 4 was amazing. Its remake aims to recreate the original's creepy yet campy setting with the sole purpose of making it more immersive. I'm talking improved environments both visually and audibly without changing what made the original so unique. Controlling the fate of a group of 8 kids in a story with choices that determine who's going to survive or die as you progress does sound interesting. If you're looking for a game that is both dramatic and spooky, the Until Dawn remake is your best option. This game is at its best when played with friends in couch co-op since it's like being in your very own slasher flick. Silent Hill 2 on the PlayStation 2 is largely considered the best game in the series, but since it released 20 years back, the remake is highly appreciated. You play as James Sunderland, a husband who mysteriously receives a letter from his recently deceased wife calling him to Silent Hill. From there on, James realizes horrible stuff is afoot and proceeds to solve the mystery any way he can, cause like, it's not every day that he gets a letter from a dead person. While the plot remains unchanged, the gameplay has been completely revamped for modern audiences. The static camera has now been replaced by a fixed over-the-shoulder camera. Stealth is now also a viable option here, and combat has been completely over overhaul too. If you haven't played a Silent Hill game before, this could be a great entry point for you. A Quiet Place The Road Ahead is loosely based on the movie series and is set in the same post-apocalyptic world invaded by extraterrestrial creatures who absolutely hate sound. Much like the movies, A Quiet Place The Road Ahead is a survival horror game with interpersonal drama thrown in for good measure. You play as a young girl who not only has to survive this hellish landscape but deal with her interpersonal issues and conquer her fears. If that wasn't bad enough, you'll have to use your wits to navigate unknown environments while trying to survive against a lethal foe. In silence. While Slit Ahead isn't really a horror game, it has a few things that fans of the genre could get behind. The streets of Kaolong are infested with Slitterheads, monsters that mimic humans and take their form. You're a bodyless being called Hyoki who's got no memories except one. Kill the Slitterheads, all of them. Since you're bodyless, you can actually possess humans and kill the Slitterheads using the blood of those you possess as weapons. That doesn't just make you a bad guy, it makes you a ghost that kills his hosts. Hellbent on it eradicating the monsters that prowl the streets. This action adventure is so gory and creepy, I just had to include it. I've said this a few times before, but we are in horror are a match made in heaven. And now, we have a brand new single player horror game set in the Alien universe that's coming to VR next month. In Alien Rogue Incursion, VR, you play as Zula Hendricks, a former colonial marine who's on the noble mission of rescuing a former squad mate. Her quest naturally brings her to areas swarming with xenomorphs, but thanks to her training and the array of weapons at your disposal, you'll be able to fight back. Keep spare pants handy when playing this because this xenomorphs in this game will not follow a fixed pattern of spawns. They can literally appear from anywhere. These are some of the creepiest games I'm looking forward to. What about you? Let us know in the comments and while you're at it, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. Bye. <laughs>